Good? You like this good? This meeting will come to order. Madam Recorder, roll call, please. Alderwoman Key. Here. Alderwoman Madison. Here. Vice Mayor Adams. Here. Alderwoman Brett. Heather. Oh. Thank you, Madam Recorder. At this time, fellow citizens, if you would please stand with me. Unfortunately, Pastor Kaiser is not able to join us tonight, so I'll lead us in prayer. Mm -hmm. Father, we come to you this day thanking you for all that you do. Thank you for your salvation, Lord, that you've offered us. Lord, we ask this one thing tonight, that you grant us the wisdom and the strength and the diversity of mind to be able to serve our citizens as best we possibly can. All this I ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 If you would, please remain standing. Mr. Silas Adams, will you please approach the podium? Mm -hmm. Come on up here with your dad now. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Silas Adams is going to lead us today in the Pledge of Allegiance. He is an excellent student at Bluff City Elementary School. Okay, Silas, if you would, please face that way, toward the flag, toward the flag. Here, come over here. (laughs) All right, whenever you're ready, Silas, we're with you. Place your hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, my friend. Here, let me give you a little gift before you run off. Kind of look like you did. Thanks, Silas. We really appreciate you. All right, at this time we'll move into, I would say, my favorite part of the meeting, and that's recognitions, proclamations, and awards. Uh, Looking out there, I do see there are plenty of distinguished citizens, and I'd like to welcome all of you today. First item in proclamations is recognition of Solomon East High School, and I see my good friend, uh, Principal Andy Ayer, in the audience. This board is, is in recess. Please join me at the podium, Principal Ayer. Now, Andy, would you please take a minute yeah. to explain to our fellow citizens the reason that you're here and this great accomplishment? Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, we were we were proud to receive the the rank of uh, a level five status for uh, the, the from the state of Tennessee. Uh, for our academic uh, growth and accomplishments at, at Sullivan East High School, and it's the second out of three years that we've been able to attain this academic status, which is uh, as high as the state will get. So we're very pleased, thankful that the the children, your all's children, your grandchildren, and those that uh, call Bluff City home are uh, excelling in their academic pursuits. So well, we're very thankful for that. Well, I think the credit—I know the credit for that goes to Andy and his staff. Uh, not me. And no. <laughs> all the countless parents out there that are supporting the, the the wonderful students that attend your high school. Thank you. As well as the middle school and our elementary school. So, being, that being said, uh, it's only right that the town honors you, well, you. and the school with this proclamation, and I'll read well, it now. Proclamation honoring Solomon East High School's academic achievement. Whereas our own Solomon East High School has been given a level 5 rating for academic achievement by the Tennessee Department of Education. And whereas a level 5 rating is the highest rating a school can receive by our great state. This based on Tennessee value added assessment data as collected from their end-of-course assignments. And Principal Andy Hare and both his caring and dedicated staff deserve great praise for this stellar and noteworthy accomplishment. And 
our board of mayor and aldermen both recognize and commend every student for their hard work and fierce dedication. Now, therefore, I, Jeff Royals, the 48th mayor of the town of Bluff City, along with the board of mayor and aldermen, mm -hmm. do hereby honor Sullivan East High School on this day for exceptional meritorious achievement. Thank you. Here you go, Principal. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you all. While we're in recess, thank you. You're welcome. Allow me to recognize another fellow citizen, and great American, on behalf of Mayor Richard Benable. Uh, unfortunately, Mayor Benable could not be here tonight, and he asked me to stand in his stead. And I call to the podium the Honorable Richard Bowles. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening. Good evening. This is presented to former Mayor Richard Bowling for his service as interim mayor and alderman during the following days. The certificate of recognition is presented to Mayor Richard Bowling for outstanding service and achievement. As mayor from January 2022 to July 2022, and as a Bluff City Alderman from 2012 to 2022, presented on this day by the Sullivan County Board of Commissioners, signed by Richard S. Venable, Honorable County Mayor. Here you go, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, again, Richard, yeah. Personally, but he said that he is only a, a call away if you ever have. Okay, so, thank you. I appreciate all this. Appreciate Make sure we call him. Thank you. Excuse me. This board is back in session. First item on the agenda is discussion and action of the previous meeting minutes from September 6th and September 27th. Members of the board, these, uh, these minutes were forwarded to you and they are spread before you now. Would you like to make any additions, corrections, or any of the such I mentioned? Uh, the only thing I would like to say, the minutes for, I think it was September the 6th, we're, which we know that we had to sign the letter, and we will be responsible for uh, overruns. Is that correct? Uh, are you speaking about the phase three water and mm -hmm. sewer project? We'll yes, ma'am. Okay. As long as it's known that if anyone do get overruns, that we know that we are going to be responsible. So I'm okay with that. I just wanted to bring that out. Okay, so... Are the minutes suitable uh, to you? Yeah, as long as yeah, I speculated that, yeah. Okay. Any other mentions of additions, corrections? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve both sets of minutes, specifically recognizing September 6th and September 27th. Is there a motion? Motion to approve this. Minute. Motion to approve by Vice Mayor Adams. I'll second it. Second by Alderwoman Keith. Madam Recorder, as you were, is there any further discussion? Madam Recorder, take a vote, please. Alderwoman Keith. Yes. Alderwoman Madison. Yes. Vice Mayor Adams. Yes. Alderwoman Red. Yes. Alderwoman Venable. Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, fellow members of the board. At this time, we'll move into our public comment section. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to come and speak in public comments? Mr. Malone, you are recognized. If you would, please, for the record, state your address and name. Jerry Malone, 372 Smith Street. And I just want to, I guess, ask some questions or maybe get corrected if I'm wrong or not. Because on the water bill, I've paid my water bill for the last six months, and it's been minimum rate. So... And this month it was up twenty one dollars or so, twenty five dollars uh, over the normal. So when I started researching the why it was a bad meter, or used extra water, or what reason, but when I look at the bill, the bill was read thirty three days, 
And what I understand, it's based on a 30-day, 2,000-gallon uh, usage. And so if it's 33 days, that's 10%, 10 percent, which on the 2,000 gallons, approximately 200 gallon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and so when you go over at 2,000 gallon, you pay the next rate, which on 1,000 gallon is 764 and. Uh, 1327 on the sewer, which that's exactly what my bill was over. So my question is, if they're, and I know they get busy in different stuff, and we had heritage days, and I don't know what all was going on in the city, you know, could have been broke and stuff, but there needs to be some kind of um, catch deal or somebody to do it, and they may do it if it goes over because here we, we just say we've got a 1,000 customers, and and they read it three days late, and everybody goes over their minimum. Well, that's uh, twenty thousand dollars. You know, twenty dollars, okay, whatever. But anyway, uh, doing the math, so it, it's pretty pretty bad. So then everybody lines up around the building. Oh, my bill's high. Well, we'll check it. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I don't know what you have in your scope to correct this, but uh, like I say, if a meter's good and I don't think I've used, you know, I'm just saying if I don't think I've used any excess for any reason and stuff, then it seems like a little thing. Well, next month, if it goes back to reading on a certain time, it may come up to 27 days or 28. Usually, it's most of I look back on my old bills, and most of them are 29 days, mm -hmm. one day less than 30. Well, this week, this time, it comes back, and it does it on the first of the month or whenever, and it's 27, 28 days, 29 days. Well, then I haven't used as much. So it goes back to normal rate. See what I mean? I do. And uh, so, um, and this happened a lot years ago and stuff when had some people that wasn't real effective on the reading stuff. I know they are changing out meters and, and different stuff. So it's just something I wanted to make you aware because when people start complaining about their water, you know, there may be a reason. And it may be they've used it or maybe it's just city people have got busy and just hadn't been able to get around on that date. So some needs to be some kind of a buffer there if that's the case on it. Um, the other thing that I had while I'm up here <laughs> yes, Please. was um, between Hill Street and Ronald Carrier Street, I guess what I believe is what mm -hmm. I'm there. That little short block, I don't know if that's a city problem or it could be a state problem, but there's about four cars that park there, and it makes it terribly dangerous because it cuts it down to a one-lane street, and somebody comes down with a trailer. It's been a dozen times that I've either had, you know, back up or move over or come in there, and I don't know exactly what to you know, the, to fix that. Maybe no parking on one side. And that'll leave an extra eight feet or whatever <laughs> for people to kind of go around or no parking on that wooden. Usually between there is enough room pretty much for everybody to get off the street except for right there. And, and supposedly or everybody should have a driveway. Yes. You know, just sometimes you have people fisting or uh, you lazy and you want to park on the street and <laughs> instead of pull up the driveway, you know, <laughs> and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to bring that. Uh, Thank you. Maybe you uh, pull it there now. I'm sorry, what was the intersection, Hill Street? Well, it's, you go up Main Street. It's on Main Street between Hill and I believe it's Ronald Carrier. Right. I don't know if that's a street or a boulevard or <laughs> whatever it is. Right. I understand. Yeah, just that doing. little, that one block there is pretty much. Uh, there's not much, because there's sidewalks and people's houses. There's not any way you can widen the road. So, I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's a state problem or a city problem. Well, I'm, uh, thank you, and just Jerry, looking for your at comments. The, uh, thank you. Chief, make a mental note of that, if you would. And, Jerry, I'll uh, I'll personally look into your water situation tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, I speak in terms of that. When it comes down to the uh, read date, read dates fluctuate. We typically read on the 15th, uh, depending on whether or not the 15th falls on a weekend. We may uh, read on a mm -hmm. later date, or we may read on a later date. Right. Thank you, Mr. Moultrie. Would anyone else like to come to the podium? Yes, Ms. Clark. <clears throat> Shirley Clark.
Clark, 932 Long the Lane. I just wanted to see if you'd had a update on the speed bumps on Holston, if the engineer had reviewed that. I actually have a meeting Wednesday at 10 a.m. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this upcoming Wednesday, 10 a.m. And I apologize. I think any of you who have worked out in government know that TDOT, seems to be the slowest bureaucracy ever. <laughs> so I do have that meeting on the 10th at 10 a.m. Any other citizen or any member of the public like to come to the podium? Great. Thank you for your comments, everyone. Hearing none and seeing none, let's move on to the next item on the agenda. Discussion and action of the TDOT consultant selection policy review and approval uh, members of the board i made sure this was in your packet that was forwarded to you mr fry i know you've been away and i'm not sure if you've had the opportunity to oh, look I'm at looking. this agreement it does it seem satisfactory to you yes i mean it's a it's a standard thing right and basically what the agreement says the rates are going to change pretty much uh, as far as the and, and it don't always directly affect us it might but it definitely affects the development district that we're a member of and and their dealings and agreements basically uh, TDOT is saying uh, we we've had to adjust our rates on consultation if we have to use them for a project or whatever uh, we should see no significant thing come from it here at the town when you say significant, what are you saying? Are you saying they're going to charge a little more? Increase? No, they're going to charge a little more for consultation. Okay, that's it. But will our citizens get an increase? No, in no, it will be invisible to them. Okay. Uh, basically, TDOT and First Tennessee District uh, Development District work together like we're working on this multimodal grant mm -hmm. with them, and they just changed the agreement and their structure, and that was it. Again, Mr. Fry has reviewed the agreement, and he's, it seems satisfactory to him. So uh, with that, is there a motion? <clears throat> motion to approve the policy. Motion to approve by Vice Mayor Adams. Is there a second? No, second. Second by Alderwoman Venable. Is there any further discussion? Madam Recorder, take a vote, please. Alderwoman Keith? Yes. Alderwoman Madison? Yes. Vice Mayor Adams? Yes. Alderwoman Norette? Yes. Alderwoman Venable? Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is discussion and action on the draft bylaws review for the Bluff City Family Committee. These were also forwarded to members of the board for review. Uh, the, uh, at, we stipulated when forming this committee, as you'll remember, that they turn in a copy of draft bylaws within 30 days. They have met that goal. And upon our approval, and not until we approve, will they become their permanent bylaws. So. In looking over those uh, draft bylaws, would any member of the board like to make any additions or corrections? I would like to ask the board to table this for a workshop uh, along with our attorney because I have some concerns and some questions that I would like answered. Very well. Uh, any other member of the board have similar guidance? I would further like to say a lot of this, we've got new board members, so Alderwoman Benable, she really wasn't in on the first of it, so it would be kind of hard to vote on something that you really don't, not sure about. So I would like to have a workshop. Okay, now you mentioned something else beside the bylaws. If you don't mind, I'm writing this down for the workshop. What else was it you wanted to talk about in workshop? Uh, we can cover that a little bit later. Okay, very good. So, uh, is there a motion then? I make a motion to second it. Okay. Uh, motion to postpone by Alderwoman Madison. Is there a second? Me. Okay. Second by Alderwoman Keith. Is there any further discussion? 
Madam Recorder, take a vote, please. Alderwoman Key? Yes. Alderwoman Madison? Yes. Vice Mayor Adams? Yes. Alderwoman Moretz? Yes. Alderwoman Venable? Yes. Thank you. Motion to postpone has been unanimous, and we will move this to workshop. Next item on the agenda is my report. The uh, First of all, thanks for the opportunity. The, uh, this is my 65th day as mayor, and uh, I, I stated today publicly that this board, the staff, and my fellow citizens have enabled me to to do my best for you, and I appreciate the privilege. Uh, accessibility. Uh, I just want to cover real quick my accessibility. Uh, if you've been to the town hall, you'll see my business cards are right at the counter. Any member of the public can come and get one. Uh, I have uh, an email on our website. If you want to email someone at the town of Bluff City and you follow the link, the email comes to me. Uh, my telephone numbers all are published and to the public. So, and I am here most of the time, seven days a week. If any citizen desires to meet with me during the day while we're here working, I always make time to see them, unless I am in another meeting. And then finally, if a citizen or any member of the public would like to meet with me, and that includes the board, I am available uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I just want to make that known uh, just in case there's any questions. Moving on, I want to thank the board first and foremost, and then our staff, specifically Wanda Phillips, for a wonderful Heritage Day. It was a great success. And uh, from a financial standpoint, we came in under budget for the event. So uh, really want to thank everybody, not only that was involved in putting it together, and that includes police and public services, public works, and the admin department, and then all the volunteers that came out and helped out. So really appreciate that. Uh, next uh, item on, the, on my agenda is an upbrief on Phase 3 Water and Sewer. As you all are aware, that project didn't begin back again on Monday. Uh, Randy, Chairman Randy Beckner is with us tonight uh, of Mattern and Craig. Uh, he is willing to come up and brief the project if the, bo if the board desires. Uh, would you like that? Yes. All right, Chairman, would you come up, please? Thank you, Mayor, members of, of the board. Uh, some, some new faces that I haven't met yet. Look forward to working with you. Um, I guess everyone has seen uh, the contractor has mobilized and, and actually started bringing in equipment and materials onto Main Street. Um, so that is, is moving forward. Um, they have also been get, given authorization to proceed with the Railroad Street uh, gravity sewer replacement. The garage pump station project, we're still awaiting the acquisition of three easements. Um, and I know the town has, has procured uh, someone to, to handle that. And I did speak with, with a member of that firm just yesterday, and I know he has made contact with everyone and moving forward. So hopefully we'll have those easements in hand and be able to, to break ground on that very quickly. Um, a couple other little projects um, that, you, that we've been working on for you. Um, we have updated the PER for the water treatment plant improvements, and we have submitted that to uh, the First Tennessee Development District for them to submit an ARPA application um, for, for that work or, or about $850,000 that will be uh, all, all grant money um, with I think a 10% match maybe. Um, we're also currently working on another PER for some additional sewer replacement work to submit um, also to First Tennessee for another uh, ARPA application um, on order of about $400,000, $450,000 I believe. Yes, sir. Um, so I think it's that's where we stand. I know we're we're still working on the multimodal. We are. I think we're waiting on a, some some paperwork to come through so that we can proceed with the survey and design on that. So, any questions? All right. Thank you, Mr. Thank you Chairman. Thank you. 
And uh, just a little bit of kudos, Randy, before you sit down. I mean, uh, we we were in a bad way with your firm, and you have stepped in and grabbed this thing by the horns and put us back in the right direction. Really appreciate that. I apologize for stepping in. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, actually, uh, Randy covered my next note, which is grant applications. So uh, those are working uh, with Randy and then obviously myself and Sharon work on those. So they're working well. Uh, a lot of traffic today from the development district to me on uh, authorization letters and different things. I'll definitely keep the board informed as, as we move forward on this thing. Uh, uh, Last thing on my agenda that I will be bringing to you in new business is a mention of the Veterans Day Parade, potentially. So I'll hold that to new business. And that concludes my brief. Thank you very much. All right. Next item on the agenda is a report from our town attorney. Um, I've collected $20,000 in delinquent property taxes this past month. That's my report. Thank you, Mr. Fry. Thank you always for your hard work for our town. Next item on the agenda is discussion and action on the financial report. Madam Corder, would you please? Fund balances for August 31st, 2022. General fund, $2,186,068. Sanitation fund, $29,824. Special Police Fund, 8430 Debt Service Fund, 112717 Sinking Fund, 3094 Water Sewer, 842032 We have a total fund balance of 3178165 Thank you, Madam Recorder. In hearing the fund balance and total fund balance, is there a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve. Motion to approve by Alderwoman Keith. I'll second it. Second by Vice Mayor Adams. Is there any further discussion? Madam Recorder, take a vote, please. Alderwoman Keith. Yes. Alderwoman Madison. Yes. Vice Mayor Adams. Yes. Alderwoman Moret. Yes. Alderwoman Bentwood. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is the departmental reports. First up is our chief, Greg DePew, and police and public safety. Evening, Mayor and Board and citizens. Evening, sir. Uh, for the month of September, uh, we had a, a good month, a busy month. We, uh, we had a total of 270 calls. We had uh, 258 citations issued. Uh, issued 75 warnings, patrolled uh, 6,988 miles, had 36 arrests, that, that's up. Uh, had 18 offense reports, uh, 13 alarms, had six accidents, uh, four animal calls, 20 MSD reports, um, three domestic calls, and had eight drug arrests. Uh, everything's moving along well with our DTF program. Uh, was able to get things really rolling there, looking great. Uh, Paperwork's been signed, and so that's a, a, a good thing that we got going. And uh, as the mayor mentioned, Heritage Days and then the uh, dedication of the park went really well. The officers and everybody was here, worked hard. That was a very good day and a, a successful day for everybody. Uh, so it's about all I have, unless you have any questions for me or anything. I just want to say you're doing a great job, Thank Chief. You, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you. Those two buses, you. That, that, that's fantastic. Yeah, we Makes work. We, we working hard. I stood before you all a few months back, three or four months back, and said we're coming after you. And I think we've kept our words. <laughs> you I'll certainly have. Thank so you. You certainly have. Yeah, but I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. And it's good to see Julie. Good to have you on the board. And Heather, so you're doing good. And all you board members, thank you all so much. Thank you. Yeah, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> Next up is our Public Works Supervisor, Mr. Alan Moultrie. Good evening, Mayor and Board. Um, in the streets department, the street department, the staff has been working hard to keep up with the mowing and brush pickup throughout town. 
as the fall season gets here into full swing, uh, we will begin starting to uh, do leaf pickup soon. Uh, if you are a customer that does take advantage of our brush pickup program, you need to know the following. Uh, each residential customer shall get one brush pickup per month without any charge. Uh, no grass clippings will be picked up. The size of brush shall be no larger than two inches in diameter. All brush shall be deposited on curbside by the residential customer for pickup by the town and shall not be placed in any part of the street after the resident customer has uh, been credited for one, I mean, with one free uh, brush pickup per month, each additional load shall be a pickup rate at, of $7.57, I mean, 50 cents per load. Uh, and that is ordinance number 97-003, May 1997, as amended by ordinance number 97-008, August 1997. Um, in the sewer department, in the month of September, we had no overflows that occurred during the month. Uh, we did get the high-level alarms a couple of times this month, but were able to avoid overflowing. Currently, all pump stations are uh, operating in a sanitary, satisfactory manner. Um, in the water plant, the water treatment plant is operating great with no present issues. The water plant was down three times for the month of September for a total of 12 hours and 53 minutes. Uh, we averaged... Uh, uh, averaged 48.78 feet in the tank for the month with 54.68 being the max uh, and our minimum level was at 41.57 feet uh, in the tank and for the most part uh, that's what we kind of got going on in the town as of right now um, if you all have any questions I'll kind of wrap everything up you're doing a great job, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for a great brief. And then finally, just in case, uh, our, our town recorder quarter and CMFO, Sharon Green, do you have anything to pass to us on the administrative side? Okay. You have no report. Thank you, ma'am. At this time, we'll entertain reports from committees, and uh, obviously, First and foremost will be the Bluff City Family Committee. Ms. Broyles, do you have a report? Okay, up to you. All right, very good. No report from Bluff City Family Committee. Moving on then, uh, no county commissioners are present, so we'll skip on that. And we'll move on to Board of Mayor and Alderman comments. And they'll begin with Alderwoman Carol Keith. Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's good to see everybody. I'd like to uh, welcome our new Alder Women, uh, Alder Women Julie, Alder Women, Alder Woman Heather. Uh, just a little history, you know, I, I believe in standing up, speaking up, and speaking out. And as we know that m most of us was appointed, and, and I want to say the reason why, because I know that you will stand up, speak up, and speak out for what is right. So that is why I nominate you. That's why we nominate our vice mayor. That's why he's sitting as mayor, because we had nominated Also, I will say this. I'll take it a step further. I stand up, speak up, and speak out for what's right. And I know, most likely, if I would have been wanting to be nominated, I wouldn't have gotten nominated, because I speak up. I want to take the time to thank my supporters because I was elected by the people and for the reason why I was elected is because I stand up, speak up, and speak out for what is right. And I want you guys to know, citizens, employees, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. I will stand with you as long as it's right. But all I ask people, don't lie to me. Thank you for coming, and God bless you. All right. Thank you, Alder Woman Keith. Alder Woman Madison, please. Yes, I want to thank everyone for coming. Please come back. Thank you, ma'am. Vice Mayor. Well, I, I'd like to echo and thank everybody for being here and taking time out of your day to listen to us and do our thing. Uh, I, I just want to reiterate, you know, we... This board recognizes uh, that our top priority is our water system. Yes. We're working really hard to get that done. Uh, Manor and Craig's been fantastic. You know, we're, we're 
really going to be making progress and you're going to see a difference. We're yes. really trying to fix this problem and we'll have it fixed. Thank you, Mr. Vice Mayor. Alderwoman Moretz. Yes. Um, hello. Um, I just want to, again, thank everyone for being here. Um, I am new. If anyone, you know, would like to get to know me, we can have a conversation, chat. I'd like to get to know, you know, the citizens and, and know everyone. And I uh, just want to thank you again, everyone, for coming this evening. Yes, have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. And now, Alderwoman Venable, if you would, please. Yes. Um, first of all, I want to say it's an honor to be up here. I'm very glad and surprised that... I was chosen because I do speak out and, you know, for what I feel is right for the city, for the employees, and everyone involved, the police department, you know, and uh, I won't back down, you know, I go with my heart, and uh, I just want to make a comment about what Jerry said, you know, he's right, if you miss, and this, I know this isn't your fault now, I mean, don't, please don't take it that way. But my husband had a heart attack because when y'all do go over that day, it makes a big jump. And some people are very strict in from it shocks them. I mean, they've already called me and I've only been on the board a week. So <laughs> I'm trying to explain to them why, you know, you know it jumps so much. You know, I mean, I argued about that before for years when I wasn't on the board. But I, I just try to tell them sometimes the workers can't get to it, and it depends on what day it falls on, too, also. And I appreciate everybody coming, and I hope you're, you'll be pleased with us. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thanks for your comments. Moving on, then, we'll move into old business. Uh, members of the board, is there any old business you'd like to discuss this evening? Well, have we taken care of the employees' raises yet? They have not been granted. When will they be granted? This next week. Next week? Yes. Uh, and just to further explain, uh, we, uh, we, we looked in, in an agonizing manner uh, to ensure, along with the department heads, Alan, Sharon, and Greg, to ensure that the right folks per merit were receiving the right increase. We have adjusted the figures a little bit to ensure that we're properly awarding employees that perform better. And that has been complete. Uh, if, again, if any member of the board would like to sit down with me, and I'll be glad to share that with you. It is public. Uh, but there are no gross surprises there. So it is our intention to award those raises as soon as we possibly can. I have something to say. I've been getting a lot of phone calls. They want to know, are we going to get a city manager? Yeah. That is up to the board. Uh, that is not up to me. Uh, I, I serve in that role, uh, the, uh, and I believe that I'm su serving successfully in that role. Well, uh, we knew that it was going to only be temporary right. until we got one. Because uh, when... Mr. Bowen was, we knew it was going to be temporary until we got right. one. So, and we've been going through that for the last three or four years. And I think I had spoke with several of them was talking about a city manager. That so, is, uh, that's something we probably should discuss. We, uh, yeah. I will warn you, though, that we don't have a lot of money I understand to pay that. for that. But uh, when Mayor Wells was city manager, people was wanting to get one. So I don't know where the difference yeah. is. Well, uh, we need to get one. It's a it's a conversation we as a board need to have. Yes. So at your will and pleasure, we'll have that conversation okay. about that. And I would like for our attorney to set in on it when we get ready to. Do oh, it. definitely. Council would definitely need yes. to be there. Yes. Okay. Great. Any other old business? Once we could put in a vote to start advertising for that? Because if we're going to move forward, we need to move forward now. Let me suggest this, and this is what I would suggest in workshop, and I could and flesh it out more. Okay. Uh, we need to get MTAS involved in this and get the cart before the horse. Right. And they can lay out stuff for us and you know what all your options are. I agree. Right. Thank you, Mr. Fry, because that was my next question. Uh, with, we all, none of us know it all. 
and we've got new board members. And I remember when I first came on the board, you know what I went through, and I had to go to M-Test, and they helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. And he always let me know if we need them to let them know. Well, they came and did a class. Miss Sharon, you remember that when he came and done a class and learned us, told us all the ins and outs and what we can do and what we can't do. I think that it would be nice for him to come and give us a class so our new board members will kind of uh, know. That's actually laying with your deliverables. Uh, I actually printed that out for y'all this evening. Uh, the next elected officials academy needs to be registered with them very right, soon. But I'm, what I'm saying and, is uh, for uh, Pat, Mr. Harvey, to come, MTES. Well, he, he's actually retired. Did he retire? Yeah. But somebody under him. We, we can, sure we can yeah. get somebody. Yeah. Though. We can definitely get somebody. need to have that done. I will reach out to MTES myself to see if we can get someone to come. Uh, because with our new board members, they need to know. They We yeah. all need to be educated because we want to move forward. I agree. Uh, I'll make that conversation tomorrow. Okay, and I will yeah. also. And uh, it's not necessary, but you But can. I want to. And uh, by the way, as I mentioned, the Elected Officials Academy, of which I am a graduate, is a wonderful course. Mm -hmm. I laid this out in front of you tonight. I would highly encourage any board member to enroll. Okay. Beside that, there are 12 hours of utility training required for the board, right. and I'm the only one who has completed okay. them. So please take this very seriously and uh, look into this course. This is an excellent course. Does this count towards that? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, as I mentioned did you before, pay for that or do we pay for that? No, the, you pay for that. Okay. Right. And, uh, and then, as I mentioned in, in workshop, or I've mentioned two or three times, as far as the utility training, it's free. You can go on the Tennessee Comptroller's website, and the training is right there for you to take. All you have to do is watch it on your computer, and you'll get a certificate for each one of those blocks. Uh, if I remember right, there are either 17 or 18 periods of training on there. You're only required 12 per year. So that's an a asset that you can use right at home on your own computer. Uh, you may be able to do it on your phone. I'm not sure, but that's out there for you. All right. Any other old business? Great. We'll move into new business. Is there any new business that the board would like to bring to light? Yes. Okay. We settled this about M test. I will call tomorrow. You know, I want to move forward. And as I said, I will stand up, speak up, and speak out for what is right. I have a problem, and I, don't, I can't speak for the rest of the board. We should have known about this employee cookout. It should have came before the board. We should have voted no. on it. No? No. Okay, anybody can come to our town hall and do what they want to, have a cookout, and we don't have to know about it. So it's okay. You can okay it. I'm the town manager. You work. Now allow me to finish. You work at the pleasure I of am, the board. I am the town manager. Right and now. don't forget that. And by the way, the employee appreciation was at my expense, not the town. Let's give him a hand. That's great. So, no, no. you were invited as a courtesy as well as the Planning and Zoning well, Commission. You. Some of the Planning and Zoning Commission came. Some of the board came. Okay, but do you think, in respect, was it the right way to you do You were it? invited. Yeah, you, uh, on a Wednesday. My you family lived out of town. Formally invited. Well, you know what? I'm not going to argue with you no, about it. No, you're because you're wrong. You well, were invited. You always, you're not always right, Jeff. Okay? You were invited. I'm not going to argue with you, but well, we will settle this. And I am asking the board, this day, board members, we take our power back. This day. I think you don't understand your I role. Think, well, you ought to understand what I just you said. You don't understand your role. <laughs> you, you don't understand, understand you. yours. Mr. Fry, would you please explain to him the his The charter role? speaks to your role and mine. I'm sorry? The charter yes, speaks it does. to your okay. role. Well, let me I, just ask you I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you. But let me ask you this. We have an attorney here. Yeah. Correct me if I am wrong. The mayor, he calls the meetings, 
and he can break a tie. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Okay. The city manager works at the pleasure of the board. Is that correct? Right. Yep. Case closed. I don't think we really got anywhere there. I did, and I hope and pray that the board heard it. Well, they did. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know, and Jeff, I'm not arguing with you. I just don't want to go back. This time last year, a few weeks later, I seen Mayor Wells walk off here crying, sick, and collapsed, in, almost collapsed in Chief DePew's arms because of something that was said. I am not going back. I want us to work together, get along together, and do what's right, and work as a team. No one person can make all the decisions. We've got to work together. Uh, I think we both agree on that for sure. All right. But we both have roles. Don't forget yours. I, I you know work very at the well. pleasure of the board. I only ask town And manager. if the board lets you do it, if they let you do it, but this is one older woman that is going to stand up for what is right. I'm going to stand with the people for what is right. Are you sure that's what the people want? I'm positive. You don't want me to tell you what they want. You really don't want me to tell you what they want. Very good. Any other new business? <laughs> Any other no. new business? And I'm not arguing with you. I want yeah. to do what is right. Okay. Yeah, you know, I Thank took a charge. And I'm not sitting on this board, Jeff, because I want to be here. I am not. That's a I'm choice. here because yeah. God, no. That's God placed choice. me here for a reason and a season. Okay. Well, thank you for those comments. You are so I welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. What other new business do we have? Hearing none from the board, I have three items. If you're looking in deliverables to your front, you will see a letter from the Tennessee Comptroller of the Treasury. This letter was received a few days ago, and it marks the conditional approval of our recently submitted budget. Have you had time to review the letter, or do you have any questions of the letter? Which letter is that? <clears throat> It's a, it's a straightforward letter. Yeah, I mean, it just says we received your budget and we give you a conditional approval from the Deputy Comptroller. This is strictly for your information only. It does not require a vote. And these are all correctable, easily correctable things. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, as far as what they had complaints about. Right. We, uh, at, we as a town, which uh, we just heard referred to, uh, went through a transition of mayors. And, you know, that's, that's what it is. But this is not a black mark whatsoever. Any comments uh, on this letter? Before we move on to the next point of new business. All right. Hearing none. Uh, next point of new business. I previously mentioned in my comments and that is the approval for a Veterans Day Parade on November 11th at 5 p.m. That would be our first annual Veterans Parade here in town. Uh, just to talk a little bit about the event, uh, we've been waiting uh, to see if our partners at the Impact Community Center wanted to join us uh, with this effort. They are heavily scheduled with athletic games 
throughout that month, so they respectfully declined. Uh, the way that the parade would potentially work is that it would begin at the area of Railroad Street or the Bluff City Rescue Squad. Uh, it would proceed up Fleming. Uh, it would move to the east on Main Street until it reaches Summit Drive, Holston Drive. It would then move to the south on Summit until the in intersection of Cedar Street and then would move back again to the west and to the intersection of Carter Street and then back to the south until it reaches the Impact Community Center. Once the parade finished there, we would potentially offer a short veterans ceremony that would include the American Legion, the veterans of foreign wars, the disabled American veterans, and several other veterans groups that are willing to participate. Uh, there would be a flag raising and uh, a brief ceremony with a speaker and then uh, at that point, uh, all uh, veterans that we would recognize could depart. Uh, Chief DePew and I have discussed a traffic plan potentially already. It's not a problem for our force. This would be at very, very minimal cost to the town uh, since it's on a Friday evening. So in hearing that, members of the board, uh, I, I hereby request uh, by vote that you either accept or decline this proposal. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Vice Mayor Adams. I second. Second by Alderwoman Moretz. Is there any further discussion? Madam Recorder, take a vote, please. Alderwoman Key. Yes. Alderwoman Madison. Yes. Vice Mayor Adams. Yes. Alderwoman Moretz. Yes. Alderwoman Venable. Yes. Motion passes by majority. Thank you very much. Is there any other new business that the board would like to bring forward? No. The only thing I'd like to say is uh, I want to work on this as soon as possible. And... Um, I want to thank Miss Sharon because I know you work hard. I know you do more than people realize, and I know you were one of the reasons why our doors were open. And Amen. this is new to this is new to me. And please, I hope nobody get mad at you. But if they do and say something to you, come tell me. But um, I just want to say thank you because we all are new. None of us know it all. And Mary Wells always said that you was her right hand, and I know y'all did a good job because the auditor let us know what was done and everything was good. So personally, myself, I'm depending on you to help me, keep me informed. We don't want to go over budget. We don't want to do things that we may not need, and I am depending on Mr. Fry legally to let us know this and that because I am truly dependent on you guys. Because I want to move forward. And if there's anybody on this board that don't want to move forward, then they need to get off the board and let somebody come on that wants to move forward. That's all I have to say. God bless you. Thank you, Carol. Uh, last order of business, I guess part of new business, is there was a mention of a workshop. Uh, this next Tuesday is obviously planning and zoning, and we do have an agenda for planning and zoning. So I would go ahead and submit to the board now that our, uh, you had mentioned to me that you would like to conduct a town hall. Oh, uh, if that, you would mind. Uh, so uh, it, your options this month are obviously if you desire to have a workshop, you told me you wanted it the last of October. So that means that that would potentially be scheduled for the 25th of October at 6 p.m. So if you desire to go back to workshop, the next available date would be 18th of October at 6 p.m. So please examine your schedules real quick so that we can decide if you desire to go ahead and do the town hall. We uh, normally... We do the work, the monthly workshop prior to our board of mayor and alderman meeting for the next month on the last Tuesday, which would normally be the 25th of October. So I'd, I'd just kind of like to hear from you before we leave this room. 
okay. where you're at okay. so okay. I can prepare the agenda. In, on a, in two weeks from two, yesterday, so I think that's what, the 18th? Okay, the so the 18th is okay. out for you, right? Yeah. So what day of the week is the 25th? No, it's on, it's the, both are on Tuesday, Paul, oh. at 6 p.m. Okay. I'm good. Well, well, really, the workshop is what we wanted to discuss about more on this family committee thing. Okay. Uh, Alderman Adams was talking about the town hall, and I would like to say I, I thank you for that because I know he's dedicated and he is working diligently to try to get this water thing big. So yeah. what we want to do is explain to the people what we are trying to do. Yeah. So, and he will be speaking this time for the town hall. <coughs> Okay, so with that, would uh, Vice Mayor, if you're leading the charge on this, would you prefer to do the town hall sometime in November, or would you like to keep, would the board like to keep our standard workshop time on the 25th of October? Uh, just kind of put me in the right place here so when it comes that time, I can obviously deliver the agenda. And so let me make this suggestion about a town hall that we're going to explain uh, the projects, um, let us have these easements done and, you know, so we could give a better update to the citizens and maybe we'll be breaking ground on both projects for them. Mm -hmm. So, members of the board, does that suit you? That's fine. But I would like to say this. Whenever I call or somebody calls a special call meeting, all it takes is three people to call it. Is that correct? But there, there's caution to that. It's just like yesterday when we had someone that wanted to call a special call meeting. You must give the public, according to well, the Tennessee Open Meetings Act, a minimum of 12, 12 hours, hours notice. Correct. And right? you start from the time you call it. And we already had a meeting scheduled for today. Was it the same time? It wasn't the same time. It was already. An agenda had been published for today. I know that, but I'm saying a special call. Whenever Again, three people by, call. by the time that we were notified, there was not 12 hours. That, well, I've got it on my phone. Uh, well, I'm just well, telling But we will discuss all this with yeah. our attorney president. It's in the charter. Just look in the charter. Yeah. So we're going to have a workshop on the 18th. Would you prefer then, members of the board, to do a workshop on the 18th or the 25th? Which would, this town hall, you heard what council advised us. Mm -hmm. So are we going to stay with the 25th for our conventional workshop, or would you like to do it the week prior? It does not require a quorum. 25th would be fine with me if it's okay with everybody else. I think the 25th will be fine. That will give us more time mm -hmm. to allow these easements yeah. and... We can work on not only the town hall, but also the family committee. Very good. Seems like I see head nods up and down. So our conventional or our standard time period for the workshop will be the last Tuesday at 6 p.m. And obviously I will announce it for us and make sure all that stuff's put out. Any other new business? No, only that. As for now, you will continue working as uh, city manager until we decide what we're going to do out for it, until the board come together. That that would be the standard any time. Right. Yeah, it sure would. Okay. Hearing no other new or new business, I declare us adjourned.